Erica here, and I'm here with my May wrap-up. May wasn't a super awesome month for me in terms of reading. First half of the month I finished, like, two books. It was, like, the 17th of May, and I was like, wow, I've only finished two books. Which, I guess, is not terrible. I mean, at least I read two books, but I usually read a lot, lot more. So, I was a little sad. But I read some good stuff. I didn't finish very much. Let's talk about it. Uh, the first book I finished in May, I had started reading in April, and that's Among Others by Jill Walton. This is a Hugo and Nebula, Nebula award-winning novel about a young girl who lives in this world where her mother's a witch. She can see fairies, but the people around her can't, and she's obsessed with reading science fiction and fantasy. And she is sent to boarding school due to life circumstances, and it's kind of a coming-of-age, sort of a coming-of-age novel about what she learns there and growing up and all of the books that she's reading. It was really, really beautiful. Like, I've heard good things about this book and I bought it ages ago and I'm so glad that I finally read it because it was really stunning. The writing is absolutely beautiful. Um, the main character was absolutely amazing and it was awesome. Um, I am not at all familiar with a lot of the science fiction and fantasy books the character reads, and that did not detract from my reading experience at all, I don't think. I think it would have added a lot to it if I did know about the books she was reading and had read them myself. I think I would have gotten probably a lot more out of it, but as it stands, I wasn't like frustrated or upset that I hadn't read all the books that the character was reading, and there are a lot of them. Uh, next was the book Buddy-a-thon. My buddy was Brock from Let's Read, and we decided that we were just going to read one book, which was uh, Barsk, The Elephant's Graveyard by Lawrence M. Scone. We decided that this fulfilled all of the challenges, and so this is what we were going to read and buddy read. Um, I did not know anything about this book until Brock suggested it, and basically the synopsis made me think that it was like elephant drug lords on a different planet. That's how it came across to me when I read the synopsis. It's a lot more than that. It was a very good book. It's very insightful, really strange, really weird sci-fi, um, but really insightful, really deep, uh, very nostalgic, if that makes sense. Um, I did have a couple of issues with it, but overall it was a really gratifying reading experience. I took a lot from it. I'm still thinking about it, but yeah, really weird, very strange, very good though. I'm glad I read it. The next book I finished I had also started in April and that is Mark Strand's new selected poems. I love Mark Strand. I love him. Um, this was amazing as you can see. I cannot get enough of his poetry. This is a really good selection of his poems as well because he's written a ton. He's published a ton of very large collections of poetry so this is kind of a sampling. Um, Highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend him. I'm way overdue for like a poetry type video, so maybe I'll do one soon. I'll talk more about that. Uh, the next thing I finished was The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte, which I buddy read with Katie, Sam, and Liz. And I do not have a physical copy of it right now because I didn't own one when we had talked about buddy reading it, and then I found out that the Penguin Clothbound Classic is coming out in June. So I pre-ordered that, so I didn't want to buy another copy, so I just read the free ebook on my Kindle, and it was really good. Okay, Emily and Wuthering Heights is still my favorite, though, guys. I'm sorry. I've now read, like, the big three. I read Jane Eyre. I've read Wuthering Heights, like, six times. And I've read The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. But I loved The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. So, in order, Wuthering Heights, Wildfell, Jane Eyre. For me, personally. I know that that's a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> Anyway, it's a really great novel. If you like the Brontes, I think you'll love it. It is about a woman who um, moves into this house with her son, and people are kind of trying to figure out why she's alone, where her husband is, what's going on, and that's all I'm going to tell you. It's really good. And it was all about the empowered female. It's good stuff. The next book I finished is a giant, kind of a giant one. This is Arcadia by Ian Pears. I loved this. I gave this book five stars. A lot of people are talking about this right now, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But it's very hard to describe. There are basically like three or four interlocking worlds and like ten characters. Um, it's very reminiscent of kind of 
young adult fantasy classics such as The Chronicles of Narnia, which I did not love, but I loved this. I'm like premise wise, it's a little similar. It's bizarre. It's sci-fi and fantasy matched up, mashed up. Like I said, there's like 10 different characters. You just have to read it. Just read it. It's really good. Just read it. And you should watch Jen's video about it because she's much more eloquent than I'm being right now. Great book. Awesome, awesome, awesome book. And that's like all the novels I finished this month, <clears throat> which isn't terrible. Um, I read three graphic novels. I read Cursed Pirate Girl by Jeremy Bastian. This was amazing. The art in this is amazing. Like maybe the best I've ever seen. And I'll talk about it more in my next comics reviews. Um, I read the second volume of Giant Days the day after my birthday because I was super hungover. <laughs> like really hungover and all I wanted to do was lay in bed and read comics so that's what I did. This was good too. Just as good as volume one did not disappoint me at all. Um, today which is the 31st I sat down and read the seventh volume in the Amulet series by Kazuo Kabushi. The series continues to be great. The art continues to be great. It's just so much fun. It's such a nice little le read when you're feeling down and you want to get through something quickly and look at some pretty pictures. And the final book I read in May was Letters to a Young Poet by Rainier Maria Rilke. This ruined me a little bit. Um, for those of you who are not aware, this is a series of letters that Rilke wrote to a um, young officer in the army about kind of poetry and life and the nature of a device in general and creativity and how um, being an artist oftentimes involves being a very solitary person and how to deal with loneliness. It's beautiful. Like, look, this book is so tiny. It's got like 27 tabs in it. I loved every single bit of it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. That's all I read in May. Uh, not a huge set, but some definitely really awesome books. I've been super busy. I'm in like wedding planning frenzy right now because my wedding's in about three months. <laughs> there is a lot to do. Um... Yeah, and it was my birthday. It was a crazy, crazy month at work. It's our busiest month of the year, so I've just not had a lot of time. I didn't publish very many videos. I think I published two videos in May, so sorry about that, guys. Um, but I filmed a bunch today, so there will be some soon, I promise. And all those reviews that I've been talking about doing are forthcoming. I've literally just filmed them. There will be reviews on my channel again, I promise. Anyhow, let me know what you read in May. Okay, I am rambling now. I'm gonna go. Bye!